Hi, in this video I'll explain about hydrostatics and the pressure equation inside a liquid. Hydrostatics means that the liquid is stationary, it's not flowing through a tube and it's not moving. So we take a vessel with water or a liquid and you can see the level of the liquid shown by a blue line and we immerse an object inside the liquid to see the situation on the pressure. You can see a lot of arrows there and the arrows show that the pressure is acting normal to the surface of that ball. At any given point on that ball, if you have an area dA, then the pressure and of course the forces are all acting perpendicular to that area. Now above that ball, you can see two white lines and they represent an entire column of liquid above it. And by column we mean a cylinder here because the ball has a round area of cross-section. So above that round area of cross-section to cover the ball completely, we will have a cylindrical column of water. That water has got a weight and weight is force. So that's the color of the arrow that is shown there and that weight presses down on that ball. Let's look at an animation. So we drop a ball into a liquid and it is acted upon by hydrostatic forces at each and every stage as it comes down to the bottom. The more it comes down to the bottom, the deeper it goes, higher the pressure and we will derive that shortly. So let's start with the ball at a depth h. The weight of the water column is mg, just like any other force the G will remain. The mass is density in volume. We take the density of water because it's a water column. And volume is area of cross-section into the height. If it's a cylindrical column of water, then pi r squared. Height is h. Now the pressure acting on the ball is the force by area. So the area will cancel out in the numerator and denominator and you will simply be left with density of water into height into acceleration due to gravity. So that's how you get the equation pressure is equal to rho h into g. There's another way of looking at it. If you take two points at different heights in the liquid, then the differential pressure between those two points is nothing but the density of water into delta h into g. Why is it represented in such a complicated manner. The reason is that if you have two points in a liquid at the same height, then there is no delta H between them. If you take two points A and B or B and C, if they are the same level inside a liquid which is static, which is incompressible, then delta H is zero, so delta P is zero. That means the pressure is same. This is very useful. Let's take an example of a YouTube manometer. So in this manometer, you can find that the, on the right-hand side of that glass tube, uh, which is opened atmosphere, the atmospheric pressure is pressing down on